Hey guys, and welcome to another Geek Reviews. Today we're going to be uh, having a look at my lovely new Tyrannocyte boxes that I have here to you. Uh, they finally came through while I was away for my birthday, and here they are. Doesn't it look all shiny? It looks more shiny because I have the cellophane still on them, but yeah. Um, I'm going to go through them with the downward cam like I did last time. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to switch over to that. Uh, sorry for any audio quality or visual quality differences, because it's a different camera. Right, over to the camera. Hey guys, I'm behind the camera again, and here we have the lovely new Trinocyte box, or Spore Pod as I'll probably just keep referring it to as during this video. And right, let's dig straight in here. Where you see, I've already taken the cell phone off, so I'm just going to put it so we can see the box, and nice and shiny. Right, let's get rid of this, and start going through the sprues. Uh, I'm assuming probably there's going to be some duplication on a lot of the sprues, because it's going to be a symmetrically kind of bug. Um, as you see on the first sprue here, you've got the body of the McCoy spore and the, the Mucklid spore. I can never pronounce the damn names of these games. Um, while the uh, carapace sheets and what looks to be the base section of the actual spore pod itself. And we've got the upper section and a few more base sections. The clamp, the clamping claws at the top that I used to hold, it uses to hold itself onto the actual hive ship. Uh, some of the random tentacles and some of the little random bits and bobs. Let's see, they've got the death spitters here, uh, the maw for the actual top of the spot pod, one of the uh, barb stranglers, and one of the venom cannons, and some more random whippy bits. So that's that bit of the sprue. Let's have a look at the next one. And as you can see, more tentacles, uh, more weaponry, more bi uh, bio weapons, uh, some more carapace sheets. Another sections of the actual pod itself are the spore factory, more um, capillary chimneys and clamping clawy things. If you turn this around here now, you actually see some of the spore mines that come with the kit. Uh, it did say that the spore mines were slightly different to the Harpy kit, but I can't really see much difference on them because they look very similar. It's like maybe some minor unique tweaks on the tops of them, but for the most part they're the same. Um, I can see what they're trying to do though, you know, try to make them slightly different, but yeah, they're looking majority the same. As you can see here as well, we've got some more of the look to be the dorsal air capillary tubes from the actual spore pod itself, the um, the big carapace sheets. So that's that one. That one can go down here now. And the final sprue. As you can see, more spore pods. I think this is yeah, this is basically a duplicate of this last sprue here. So we have two of these sprues and one of the main body sprues. And see, we have a standard uh, ripper size or terminator base for the spore, the big spore mine. We have some uh, six bases in here for the six spore mines in the kit. And we also have now a new um, actual base because if I reach over here and grab the standard oval base. You can see it's bigger than the oval base. Well, it's as wide as the oval base, uh, but a little bit short, a little bit shorter because it's circular. And um, it's a lot bigger than the the Carnifex or Dreadnought base. So nice new unique base just for the spore pod. And in here, uh, here are the instruction manuals. I will be building one of each. We will be building one of these big, these bad boys, and one of these bad boys, because I have the two kits. Because they do look awesome. And I'm probably going to do some pictures. I'll do the pictures of the sport pod and the factory once they're complete. And oh, here we go. Some nice stats of them. You've got the actual stats of all the spores and everything in here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, no rules again like the last kit, but um, since I commented last time about not having 
rules in the kit. The um, they have published some rules up on Black Library for free. They haven't got these ones up here yet, but I'll put a link in the description. Um, for the rules for the Tox Green and Marceptor, but as well, they should have rules eventually for this kit as well. We're going up there. So right, I'm going to switch back to the other camera now. Hope you've enjoyed this viewing of the kit. And yeah, I'll jump back to the other hey camera. Hey guys, uh, just switch back from the other camera now. Um, I'm going to go through my points of the kit, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Um, what I do like about it is the amount of variety in the kit. It has so many bits, so many options that you can build. Uh, just got a small of the sprues here. And yeah, it's got so many options in it that you could go nuts and have them set up however you wanted. Um, the only downside is, because of the kit, you can't build, from what I've seen here anyway, there doesn't seem to be enough of the supporting tentacles for the lower section to actually allow you to produce multiple, um, to like, produce the spore, the spore pod itself, as well as the, um, the Mercloid spore, uh, spore mine. But, he didn't really expect that because he kind of tell from just looking at the actual kit. You've either got this, uh, the spore pod, and the little spore mines, and you get the body of it. So you could probably just green stuff some legs on there, get some some random spikes because that's all they are. It's like little claws on the end of the tentacles that you can just. Everyone's got some random rending claws left or some scything tines. Just trim them down to the right size, and there you go. Put some green stuff. You'll get both items from the kit. You have the spore pod and the big spore mines to be annoying with them. Um, one thing I am oh, stupid things on the PC. Uh, one thing I am annoyed at is well, not annoyed at is I was expecting it to be done differently. The weapon options they aren't. Uh, let's see. Grab this. If you can see here, you have one of the venom cannons. And the venom cannon doesn't have a like a slot like you would expect. Like I was expecting, I was expecting it to kind of be a lot of slot in weaponry. So um, a bit like the harpy kit, where you have the um, where you have the venom cannon, the barb stranglers, or the heavy venom cannon, and the, the uh, strangle form cannon. You kind of like slot in and out on a little little square bit of plastic, and you can just slot them in and out with no issue. And uh, these are going to be have to magnetized if you want. Like multiple different weapon options on them, so I'm probably going to be going with the basic bio cannons on them. I'm not going to use the death spitters, so I can save some magnets there. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure why they didn't just put it as a little slot option. Because, um, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't. I can't guess why. But all I can say is, yeah, it's going to take magnetization or um, pinning if you want to have the multiple options. But if you're just happy to go, right. I'm always going to have barb stranglers, or I'm always going to have venom cannons. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to. I'm happy with that. Uh, other than that, yeah, overall, I'm quite happy with the kit. The kit is also quite nicely priced, as well for the amount you get into it. You might get in it. Um, I think it's like thirty-six pounds or thirty-eight pounds, one of the two. But for the amount you get in the kit, yeah, I think it's thirty-eight because I got the web bundle for seventy-six. Yes, that's right. Uh, thirty-eight pounds for the amount you get in the kit, you get quite a lot of stuff. The fact that you get the extra spore mines if you're just going for the spore pod and the ability to create the uh, muckle spore the muckle spore muckle spore? Muggle spore. Well I can't pronounce it. Uh the other spore, the big spore mine in the kit with just a little bit of green stuff. Really if you, even if you I'm the worst sculptor in the world. Uh, so I'm literally just gonna roll some green stuff in my hand, create a little tentacle, make it look no um like it's trying to grab something or something along those lines, and then put like a paper clip uh, extended out into the bottom of it, or some of the clear fight stands just glued on top of each other just to make it so it's got a bit more of a solid purchase there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, great kit. I'm very happy with it. Keep it up, GW. I know next week uh, is the last week, well, this week, Friday coming, or Saturday coming, is the last week for the kits because it's going to be nothing more, it's going back to fantasy after that and we're not going to see the Shield of Baal starter kit by the looks of things until the new year. Uh, all the rumours say it's not coming out until about January time. So 
haven't got time to save because I've spent a lot of money this month. Um, but overall, yeah, I'm happy. Keep it up. Um, I'll hopefully have a kit review for the Zonethrope kit, Zonethrope slash Venomthrope kit and Neonthrope kit uh, next week because I'll be paid and I'll actually be able to buy one. Uh, no pre-orders though because I couldn't afford it. Uh, I'll also have the Shield of Bow campaign multi-part review when that book is released as well as I think that's everything that's coming out for Tyranids. Um, yeah. I'll also have my standard review of the, well, my now standard review of the White Dwarf magazine and whatever new model or rules come out in that, and I'll go through that. Uh, I think it's fantasy this week. Uh, bear with me on that one because I don't really know much about fantasy. I'm just getting into it myself. I'm just about to start a Lizardman army. Um, because, well, Lizardman, they're kind of similar to Tyranid. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, join me then to do that. Uh, join me also on Friday for my. Pardon me. Uh, my loot crit review. Uh, that's arrived today. I'll be also recording this straight after this session. and But that'll be out on Friday. Because loot crit have asked no, uh, not to spoil it for anyone um, before the 20th. And I won't have at least a day between videos going out. Uh, but yeah, overall, happy with the kit. If you're turning to play, you're going to love it. Um, yeah, that's all. Cheers now. Enjoy. <laughs>